Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Tomorrow I have a conference call with um, the government regarding um, just some issues, or not issues, but like concerns that I truly feel like caregivers don't get paid a lot for their job and caregiving is difficult. And I feel like the government needs to um, raise up their pay because caregiving is a hard job. And, and I also feel if the um, individual c that the caregiver is going to be working with could interview them... Um, that way the individual and the caregiver could establish like a friendship or um be because you never know how long like a certain patient or individual will be with that um caregiver and I have to say like from experience it's kind of awkward to have like strangers that you don't know like just walk into your house and um like offering to do your care and it's kind of awkward so i think if um like caregiving companies gave the um patients and the caregivers an option to have a home like interview get to know you kind of thing um, that way they the individual with a disability has um, like a comfort level with them they feel safe with their care caregiver in their own home while their parents are at work or family members are at work um, and like I said, um, I feel like caregivers don't get paid enough for what they do. And caregiving is a very difficult job. Um, and I feel like um, company caregiving companies don't give the full story about the individual with the disability so I feel like we need to as a community and as a government we need to address those issues because I feel like if we address those issues um, in um, my conference call that I'm gonna have tomorrow with um, the government and officials and legislators we can make a change hopefully it make it may take a long time to get this accomplished but I feel like speaking as a person with a disability I feel like if caregiving companies gave the caregiver more information about the individual and the the patient and um was allowed to interview the caregiver one on one and kind of hang out with them a couple times get to know them they would establish some kind of comfort level so they're safe in their own home and it's not awkward because they're doing your like personal care and yeah it's just and I feel like there needs to be a change and I'm speaking not on behalf of just myself I'm speaking on everyone that has a disability like I have two really good friends that have siblings with cerebral palsy but they're completely nonverbal and it's very difficult to find staff um, to stay with them while their parents are at work and their 
siblings are at work, so, um, I just can't even imagine not being able to, um, ask somebody what I need or what I want, and let alone that person be a stranger, that would be awkward. So, I just feel like, um, we need to make some changes in, in the healthcare caregiving world because um, your parents and your family aren't going to be able to take care of you forever and I feel like that change needs to be taken care of now instead of later um, because yeah it's just a big issue that I've been thinking about for a long time and I've been wanting to tackle this issue so I'm very excited for my conference call tomorrow um hopefully we'll, we'll get some um answers and some changes kind of turned around so yeah so I'm very excited about that like the uh, um like the um video and hit that um subscribe button and please feel free to share my channel with your friends family but smash that like button and comment below if you have any questions on this video um like i said i'm very excited about this hopefully we can get some uh issues taken care of tomorrow for um people with disabilities and in individuals with disabilities that need extra help. So have a great day guys and I will see you guys tomorrow. And don't forget to smash the, the like button and smash the subscribe button. Alright bye guys.